the first question beta a box contains five colored balls out of which two are black and three are white balls are drawn successively without replacement if the random variable x is the number of draws till last black ball is obtained find the pdf for random variable x find the probability density function for random variable x good question beta dekho dhyan se so i have two balls uh, two black balls and three white balls now first thing that can happen is ki out of this so if i just try to if i just try to make a tree here this is a bag this bag has three white and two black balls so the first thing that can happen is ki i draw a black ball and then again i draw a black ball and done theek hai dono black balls nikal gayi and it was asking how many how many uh, times you have to draw the ball till you draw the last black ball so because i have gone ahead and i have drawn both the black balls so i am done so therefore i can go ahead and i can say that number will be 2 so this is this first one beta where my x is actually 2 yahan dekh rahe ho where my x is actually 2 this is my first one hmm? the second thing that can happen is ki i go ahead and i start by drawing a black ball and then i go ahead and i draw a white ball pehle black nikli fir white nikal gayi and after i draw a white ball then i draw a black ball so how many times beta one ball two ball three balls right ye ho sakta hai or after white again i had a white ball and then black ball four chances or after this white again i had a white and then black Five. So if then I am taking five chances, na one, two, three, four, and then in the fifth one I draw the last black ball. This is possible. So this is the first tree that I have drawn here. You see this tree? This is this tree. Now what can happen? Ki the first ball that I have drawn that's a white ball. The first ball that I have drawn that's a white ball. So that means I am here, beta. the first ball itself is a white ball after that i can draw a black ball hmm once i draw a black ball then again a tree will open up kyunki till now i have just got one black ball i need two black balls so it is possible that after this again i draw a black ball yeah after black i end up drawing a white ball right after which i draw a black ball yeah after this i draw another white ball and then i draw a black ball these are all the possibilities try to understand the question so try to see you will get a black ball then uh, i mean white ball then black then black you stop or a white ball followed by black and then again white but then you get black and you stop or white followed by black white and again white so you have drawn three whites now and therefore you get a black and you stop otherwise what can happen here that i have drawn a white ball so either i can draw a black ball or a white ball so if i have drawn a white ball then again but i can draw a black ball isn't it so if i will draw a black ball then again i have to go through the process ki after this i draw a black ball and i stop or after this drawing a black ball i draw a white ball so i have drawn three white balls and then i draw a black ball and i stop clear or it is possible that you have drawn this one also as a white ball so all three white balls are drawn so you are only left up with drawing two black balls there is no other way which in which you can be doing it am i clear with this example ye baat samajh mein aa rahi hai yahan pe is this making some sense to you okay so if this is making some sense to you then what we can go ahead and we can do beta we can just calculate these cases together so you realize here that here i have black and black and i am stopping so number of cases are 2 and then here i need black white and black so number of cases are 3 black 
white, white and black. So four balls drawn and five balls drawn. How many balls here? But a white, black, black. So three. White, black, white, black. So four. White, black, white, white and black. So five. White, white, black, black. So four balls drawn. White, white, black, white, black. So five balls drawn and five balls drawn. So against each of these, I have gone ahead and I have written their frequency. Harikya against, I have gone ahead and written their frequency. So what are the frequencies, beta? The frequency is 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 5 and 5. So how much is the frequency of 3? 1, 2. Right? How much is the frequency of 2? Just 1. How much is the frequency of 4? 1, 2, 3. And how much is the frequency of 5? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? So what's the total number of frequencies? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So now I have just written their probability. 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10 and 4 by 10. Right. So suppose in exam they ask you to generalize this. Right. In exam they ask you generalize this. So how will you generalize this? Beta? Kya hoga generalization is So when they ask you to generalize this, it means that can you see some pattern here? I can. When x is 2, I am getting 1 by 10. When x is 3, I am getting 2 by 10. When x is 4, I am getting 3 by 10. x is 5, I am getting 4 by 10. So if I were to generalize this, I will get that my probability density function fx will become x minus 1 by 10. Will become x minus 1 by 10. And this is how I can go ahead and I can generalize this. Is this clear? Making sense? Okay. Right, beta. So now let us try to take this question. So it says that there is a pair of dice consisting of six-sided die and a four-sided die and it is rolled and the sum is determined. Let x represent this sum. So x is representing the sum that you get when two dice are thrown. One dice is a normal six-phase die and the second dice is a four-phase die. Find the sample space, sample of uh, space of random variable and the PDF of x. Okay. Now let's look at the sample space beta. So you remember that when we draw two dice, when we draw two dice, ko throw karte, when we throw two random dices, so we make a sample space which looks something like this. We make 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. And here we will go till 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3 and so on till 6, 6. This is how we go ahead and we make the sample space. Now what we have done is I am only going to go here till 4, 1, 2, 4, 6. Because the other dice only has numbers till 4. That's the only difference. So I have written the sample space here. Ye mera sample space here. But what I have gone ahead and I have done now is that I have just gone ahead and considered till 4 for the other dice. Deekho, ye dice mein sirf hum 4 tak ja rahe. We are just going till 4 here. And for the other one, we are going till 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Is this clear? And now what we are going ahead and we are doing, we are accounting the sum. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 3, 4, 1 plus 4, 5, 1 plus 5, 6, 1 plus 6, 7. Like this, I have just gone ahead and I have written the sum everywhere. Take it. Now I can represent this in terms of frequency. So frequency of 2 will be 1, frequency of 3 will be 2, frequency of 4 will be 3, frequency of 5 will be 4. Frequency of 6 is coming as 5, uh, sorry, 6 is coming out as 4, 7 is coming out as 4, 8 is coming out as 3 and 9, 2 and 10, 1. And what are the total number of observations beta? 24. So if I just divide everywhere by 24, their frequency by 24, 
So I will get their probabilities. So this is what I have done here. These are my x's. And these are the probabilities corresponding to those x's. X's and probability corresponding to those x's. Now, suppose someone would have asked you, ki find out, find out the expectation. So what will be expectation? Expectation will be x, px summed up. Since this is a discrete variable beta. So the expectation will be summation x px. So I will go ahead and I will multiply x with px and get here. I will multiply x with px and get here. x with px and get here. x with px and get here. And once I get these x with px, I will just go ahead and I will add all of these together. Right? And when I will be adding all of these together, so I will get 144 by 24 and that will give me the answer as 6. That will give me the answer as 6. Am I clear? So this is how you can go ahead and solve this kind of questions. Right?